Oh wow. This is it. This was worth it this morning, coming up here. Yeah, how does it feel? I'm the king of the world! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Journey Across Japan, never-ending cycle of despair. If you haven't been watching, we've been cycling around. Joey's been joining me the last three or four days. How are your legs, Joey? Uh, my legs are fine, actually. What happened here? Uh, I hurt myself on the bouncy castle thing on the first three. Really? <laughs> yeah. Did when you see that? When, you, when we did like the shooting like skit. It seems you've outlived your contract. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. yeah, we did. I don't know if you put that in the video. But I hurt myself doing that, so... Oh, yeah. poor Jerry. The sacrifices he's made for these videos. <laughs> incalculable. So we're currently in the rural town of Kashiwazaki, and today we're heading to Joetsu, which is about 40 kilometers south. If you're wondering why there's a Nintendo 64 controller strapped to my bike, or a weird mask thing on Jerry's bike, you can go back and watch yesterday's video. It's all explained there better than I ever could. All right, here we go. Give us something good on Panman's crotch. Oh. So these are challenges that you guys have set in. Our crew, our team have curated them, put the best four or five into this machine. And today we've got... This is from Simon JF 89 it says, every 30 minutes you need to quote an 80s or 90s film quote. We have to try and uh, like fit it into casual conversation there. Like you can't just bust out a quote out of random. Absolutely. The weather's certainly on our side today, although it's very sunny, which means we need to plaster ourselves in a ton of sunscreen. Can I have some of that? You want sunscreen? I'm entitled to it. You want sunscreen? I want the sunscreen! You can't handle the sunscreen! I've already put some on. So we spent an evening here in Kashiwazaki, but what, what was your favorite thing about it? My favorite thing was... I think my favorite thing was the... I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. That's what it's gonna be like <laughs> for the whole day. <laughs> so it begins. Let's go. Let's go! Woo! Jerry and I struggling, struggling to get up a really steep hill every five minutes. Today's been brutal. Yeah, absolutely brutal. The last like two days has been mostly flat, but and today it was just nothing but hills. Yeah. So even though we haven't travelled as far, we're more fucked than we more were fucked. two days ago. Uh... Oh, no. oh. Jerry, are you okay? No, I'm quite fucking far from okay. What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now? There is no... we. So we're halfway now to uh, Joetsu and we've stopped at this little lover's sanctuary spot randomly in the middle of our journey. It's perched on the top of this rather nice looking cliff and there's lots of chains and love hearts around. Um, I must admit the chains do look a bit sinister, these rusty chains wrapped around. But it is a very romantic spot, so it seems fitting that I should come here with, uh, with Joey. Hey, oh, Joey, get up here. The view's pretty good. How's you get up there? Do you trust me? What? Do you trust me? Nah. Oh, all right then. Eating his ice cream. Yeah. Something we both agree on. Joey and Chris love the 80s. We both agree on that, right? We sure do. And there's your padlock. Okay. So it will stay immortalised on the rusty fence forever. And then do we throw the key into the ocean? Yeah. Is that how it works? It is now. <laughs> I wanted to find the rustiest chain we possibly could. And this is it, this is it right here. There's loads of hearts that have just been smashed to pieces and weathered away. So our one, our nice, bright, shiny, Joey and Chris love the 80s heart. Which we do. Will stand out as a beacon of hope. Look how rusty this is. This is horrible. Well, you, you were the one who wanted to find the rusty one. Disgusting. Oh, cool. Whoa, stop everything, isn't it? Look at this, this giant praying mantis. 
Come on, Come on, Oh my Christ. Oh. That is massive. That's the biggest praying mantis I've ever seen. The, uh, the female praying mantis eats the male after they've uh, reproduced. So it seems rather fitting that we're at this romantic lover's, uh, romantic lover's point. One insect that eats its partner. Just found an incredible discovery. Yeah. <laughs> this key that we used to lock our love for the 80s mm. unlocks almost all of these <laughs> locks. <laughs> That's terrible. I just loosened one of them and I just quickly put it back. I'm like, oh. That's a pretty big design flaw. That is a design. So we could unshackle the if love we were of all of these hearts. true loveless dicks, then we could easily just go around and unlock all of these. <laughs> you have the key. <laughs> I have the key to everyone's hearts. Oh, wow. This is it. This was worth it this morning, coming up here. Yeah, how does it feel? I'm the king of the world! <laughs> We've just stopped for lunch at this little place called Fisherman's Wharf. And they've got like a, some sort of museum with loads of cool stuff in that looks like, I don't know, it feels like we've just walked onto the set of Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Look at this treasure chest. This is amazing. When Ian saw this treasure chest, his eyes lit up. Like that. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Now we're talking. I've never seen you eat something so quickly. <laughs> I fucking love sashimi, like no tomorrow. One of the benefits of cycling down the Sea of Japan is you get nice fresh seafood. But uh, I'm enjoying today's challenge, it's been quite fun. As of the next few days, or now, I'm not sure when we're doing it, you can actually see other challenges that have been posted to the site. So keep them coming, have a look at what other people have written. If your challenge does get selected, you actually get to win something. What do you win? You win a t-shirt, Tokyo Creative t-shirt. Ooh. Ooh, I don't have one of those. You want to see second prize? Yeah. Second prize is a set of steak knives. Third prize is you're fired. <laughs> so we're about to go on this highway over here and it's really, really narrow, we're really close to the cars. A little bit scared, not gonna lie. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, we're gonna see some serious shit. Let's go. Well guys, we made it to Joetze just before sundown and uh, it looks like Joey's got us a delicious treat to celebrate. Love is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> well guys, we've had a lot of fun today. What was your highlight of the day, Joey? Being a box of chocolates. <laughs> I quite like the romantic, the romantic lookout point mm. over the sea. That was pretty that was beautiful. Cool. And I, I certainly enjoyed all the quotes. Lots of good uh, memories of some good films there. If you've guessed what all the films are, go ahead and write in the comments. Try and get all the quotes. I think there's about 10 or something. If you do write them in the comments and you get them all right, I will highlight the first 10 comments that I see where you got them all correct. You also uh, get a box of chocolates. Yeah, a free box of chocolates as well. Tomorrow is Joey's last day of the trip. Yeah, it's very sad. No matter where you might be watching from, out there in the big wide world, Thanks for joining our trip, and we hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye! Oh, Joey, can you chuck me one of those chocolates? Oh, sorry. All out. That's not true. That's impossible! Ah! Oh, fuck. Anybody want to see second prize? <laughs> Dropping your hashi <laughs> for the second time. Second prize is a set of steak knives. Third prize is... You're fired.